to my channel. I wanted to show you my tear tray setup for Christmas and um, like my stuff really doesn't fit in the tear tray. So I just have some minimal things in there. And then I have a couple different containers that I'm also kind of working out of um, that sit behind me. So I'm just going to do my best to show you what everything is. Um, and I'm going to do the tear tray last just because that's right next to me. And it's the most convenient. So let me just pull this top piece off. So this is a carrying case that I had gotten at Michael's and it, it has a clear bottom on it. This sets on top of it and then the lid goes over the whole thing. So this is just the top tray that I took out. So here I have um, a bunch of just paper bags that I can use for um, packaging up swaps and I also used a couple of the bags in my um, Christmas planner that I'm working on. Um, I have some cards here from the Snow and Cocoa collection. Um, that I'll send along with swaps. I have these little bags from Dollar Tree and um, I kind of have a, the bottom of this bin is used for like leftovers. So I pulled out a couple of each things, each thing that I want to use like ornaments. So I, you know, came in a pack of four. I took out two and put them in my tear tray and the other two I put in like my backup stash. So that's basically what the bottom of this bin is, is um, containing. So I'm not going to go through all that. So I just took one of each of these bags out and put them in here. Um, I have all these flashcards from Dollar Tree. They used to come out like these matching games and these go fish games, but they're so cute. And I like to just, you know, include them in a card or make them into a tag. Um, I've wrapped ribbon around them. Um, they're just super cute. And I like to have them on hand. And this is probably like four different decks here. And I've had them, I think, two years. So they, they last me a long time. I'm um, here. I've just got some raffia that I picked up at Dollar Tree, some twine. Um, I've got some of my Christmas washi here. I made these last year. They're just little mini um, trees with snow in them. Um, so I just I just have them sitting here. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with those. Um, I've got some shaker tags here that I picked up at, at Hobby Lobby. And then here I just have some regular Christmas tags. So this is some leftover ephemera from a doodle bug and Bella Boulevard collection. Um, I don't have the paper that matches any of this anymore, but I thought with just some of the, the solid colors um, and regular Christmas colors, I can combine this with other things. So I kept that. Here I just have some Christmas tags, um, you know, from Dollar Tree, Walmart. Uh, this is a collection. I think I got this at Tuesday morning. Um, it's just a collection of tags um, in there. Um, these ephemera pieces, I think they're just like chipboard stickers from Hobby Lobby that I picked up last year. Um, I've got some cute little ones. I think these are from Walmart last year, but these are tags, but they are mittens and hats. And I just think they're really cute. So I have those, um, and then just a few leftover ephemera pieces from, um, I think this is Mary Day's collection. Okay, so then, like I said, the bottom of this tray is a lot of my leftovers, but let me just show you a couple things here. Um, I've got some containers that I plan on using for swaps. Um, I've got these containers, these bulbs. I've got these large balls from Dollar Tree. Um, these are solar, solar lights, um, but I thought those would be cute for gifting um, like rolled flowers or, um, you know, maybe Hershey's Kisses or something in there. I thought that'd be cute to include. So I have these, like I said, these little clear balls are from Target. Bulbs are from Target. And, um, you know, you could put a sequin mix in here. It's small enough for that. And then I have these Christmas trees also from Dollar Tree um, that you can, you know, give little gifts in. So I have those back in a tray behind me and then a few of the leftovers in the bottom of this tray as well. Okay, so then moving on to my other tray, and this is too big, um, so I'll just pull some of the pieces up here. But I've got um, some of these large berries from Dollar Tree. I've got this sled that I'm going to embellish. Um, I got this pom-pom trim. I love this so much. I'm not sure I'm gonna use it yet, but I think it's so fun, this garland. I just love it. Um, you know, I might even be able to um, stuff some in here to give as a gift. That would might be cute. Um, so these are a lot of things that I can alter in this box. So I've got these bubblegum machines. I took out the candy that was inside. These are from Dollar Tree. And um, the candy was disgusting. I actually tried it. Um, and I, I think it was, I don't know if it was gum or what it was, but it, was, it wasn't good. 
So um, I just have the red and the green color that I can embellish and send along in um, a swap. Then I've also got some of my paper collections in here. So, so this is just a small variety of paper that I have. Um, so I picked up the Joyful Christmas from Hobby Lobby this year. This is just a rose gold stack um, that I thought would be cute for uh, die cuts because it's textured. I did pick this up last year just because it was something different um, with the hot pink colors. Uh, and the navies, I just really like that stripe. So, you know, I could do a swap with just this collection. I think that's really cute. Um, just a really old plaid one that I have. Um, I've got a big stack of doilies. These are from Dollar Tree that I've picked up uh, over the years. And then just some um, 8x8 matte stacks here. This is a Tim Holtz. I don't know if that's from last year or the year before. Uh, this is just a, this is really thin paper. I wouldn't use this for um, creating anything. Um, I don't know exactly how I intend to use this. I picked it up a few years ago. I haven't really touched it. Um, it might be something that I de-stash. Uh, these are just some extra sheets. And then I do have some 8 by 8s in the October Afternoon collection. There's two different collections. Let me get out my ephemera that goes with it. So I have Under the Tree. So I've tagged two tags and cards and two packs of ephemera from that collection. And then I have the Make It Merry collection. Um, and I've got tags and ephemera for that. And these were um, peachy cheap deals that I picked up. So this is just some of the paper from that collection, or those two collections. Um, do a little bit better of a flip through. Yeah, so I really like the vintage look of these. I haven't done a whole lot with these yet, but um, I'm going to hang on to them. I will use them eventually. Um, and then in here, then I have my large um, 12 by 12, just really vintage, um, A Very Merry Christmas. And I haven't used this yet either. So look forward to using that. Um, so that is my paper collection. Get this out of the way and then I can show you what's in my tear tray. Okay, so first off, these didn't fit in the tear tray, but I just have some um, glitter here and some um, clay bits for shaker mixes. And I will start with the bottom. My first tray here, this is all little ornaments from the Walmart um, mini ornament section. And like I said, these are some of them, and then the rest are in like my overstock area. So I've got these little ornaments. I took them all off the packaging. Um, these little wooden uh, snowflakes. We've got these little gingerbread. These gingerbread are from um, Hobby Lobby, actually, the little Christmas collection. I've got these little reindeer that I picked up at Michael's a few years ago, I think. Um, some nutcrackers from Walmart. This little collection from Walmart, these little like framed Christmas photos in kind of grays and, and pinks. I've got these houses. These are also from Walmart. Um, and then I've got some just wood pieces that were from a Target collection last year. Um, so all my kind of wood ornaments are in this section here. Uh, moving on, I just kept this little um, ribbon out. It matches a lot of the collections I'm working with. So I kept all four of these out here. And then there's just a stray piece of red ribbon that I used for something earlier so I just have that stuck in there as well. Um, I have a rosette that I created um, using the Merry Days or the Busy Sidewalks. I keep saying that. Busy Sidewalks collection um, that I just created ahead of time. I've got a few mini clipboards that I started here that I can use in swaps. Here I've got a bunch of different bows. Uh, these little bows are from Dollar Tree. Uh, they have like the plastic inside of them, so uh, it makes them like sturdier. And then this came off of, I think, a Dollar Tree ornament. I just saved it. Um, this is ribbon from uh, clearance at Walmart at 4th of July. And then I just have some little gingham ribbons in there. Here I've got um, some hats. These little hats were from Hobby Lobby. They're super cute. Um, not quite sure I'm going to use it yet. I did try one as like a bag topper and I didn't like it, so I ended up peeling it off. Um, I've got some gnomes here from Walmart. So I have two. Actually, I think these, 
I don't know, the pink ones might be from Hobby Lobby and the red ones are from Walmart, I think. I've got these cute little fuzzy deer here from Hobby Lobby. So those I can add to charms and um, dangles and bag toppers or however I want to do um, gift those. Uh, the last, nope, not the last one on the bottom. This tree is all um, charms and dangles and fun little Christmas bits that I can include on a chunky charm. So I've got some bells, some Santa bells, these little snowflake bells, uh, the Christmas ornaments, these snowflake ornaments and the um, candy cane ornaments, these big wooden Christmas bulbs, all of those can be used uh, as a charm. So that's all this is here. Um, I got a little sequin mix there that didn't fit in the top. Um, I made a couple shakers. So I have these little bow shakers. This is a die cut from uh, Chaos Crafts. So they're just little shaker bows. So I have a couple of those made up. Um, I've got some pine cones. I have them in red, gold, and pink. And these were from different um, collections. I think red, maybe Hobby Lobby, and the pink and gold were from Walmart. Um, I've got a couple of the Tim Holtz little deer here. Uh, I think I was gifted those, so I'm not really sure what I'll do with those. I've got some large paper clips here if I want to make a large dangle or bookmark or something. Um, and then I think just like a yeah, Christmas brad is in there. So that is all on the bottom tray. The middle tray is, uh, I have a couple gingerbread shakers here that I created ahead of time. Um, kept them simple like I usually do so I can embellish them when I uh, add them to a project. I've got a bunch of poinsettias here and the little flowers from Hobby Lobby. So these little flowers are just come in a pack from Hobby Lobby. Um, I add them just a little embellishment on um, like shakers or um, cards, just cluster them in a corner. Um, then I have this point set up pack, which I think is Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. It's this variety. And then these are Prima poinsettias that were on clearance this summer that I picked up at Hobby Lobby when they had their big uh, Prima flower clearance. Um, I've got a bunch of bottle brush trees here. Um, they are from both Walmart and Hobby Lobby and then I also have a pack from Target that I didn't um, take out yet that are more colorful colors and then these metallic ones are actually from Dollar Tree so I was able to get those so I just have a big variety of those. Um, I've got some of my button dangles here that I created so I have a hot pink Christmas tree here and then I have a green Christmas tree here so I'll be gifting those. Um, I just pulled out some um, red, green, and white flowers. I've got these really pretty like lacy type flowers um, that I'd like to use on something. Um, so I just picked out some colors that coordinated. Got some die cut leaves that were gifted to me that I thought would be pretty um, with flowers around them. And then here I just have some snowflake embellishments. Um, so these are white. I think these are from Michael's. These are from Dollar Tree, I believe. This is an ornament from Dollar Tree. These are Dollar Tree ornaments, and then these are also Dollar Tree wood ornaments. So I've got those in there just for layering pieces. And like I said, this is um, it's mostly what I pulled. I think I did like half or a quarter of each of the containers that I have, and the rest are in my, like, my overstock bin. And then in the top, I just have some really miscellaneous things. So I've got some um, Christmas pom-poms, some lollipop um, ornaments. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. I've got some Christmas picks here that I think I got from Michael's. Candy cane. Um, this is an ornament from Dollar Tree that I stripped off all of the de decoration that was on it. It was like a fake branch and a, a bow. Um, so I took that off and I'm going to probably alter that. Got some wooden pine trees here, buttons. Um, some Christmas tree charms here. Uh, my last two sprigs. That I, lo I love these so much. I have to try and find some more of those. Um, just a variety of different Christmas stickers here. Um, I cut out some like Christmas cookie type ephemera pieces for layering. So I have a bunch of those here. Uh, this, this is a Tim Holtz die that I picked up at Joann's. Um, I've got some little jingle bells. 
And then finally, I just have some sequins up here. So I've got like just a red and green mix. This has trees in it. Um, this, I have these snowflakes here. Uh, this is gingerbread and candy canes and Santas. That's a cute little mix. And uh, this colorful snowflake mix, which I think is really pretty. So that's it, you guys. I tried to really pare down what I was working with this year. Um, Christmas tends to overwhelm me just because there's so much out there. Um, and there's so many cute little things. Like I was collecting these ornaments forever, um, you know, since they've been coming out in at Hobby Lobby and Walmart. So I really wanted to just do a bunch of chunky uh, charms and some dango charms to use up a lot of these little ornaments. Um, the ones from Walmart, I think I'll be using like as bag toppers. I might even decorate like a, a miniature Christmas tree down here for my craft room and I can use the ornaments for that as well. But that is everything, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.